Hello everybody, welcome to Monday Night Core. I'm Jimmy Ventura and in the booth with me is a very special guest. It's Rick Schiavone. Hello. Good evening everybody. Thank you so much for having me, Jimmy and the fans of the mighty JFW. Here we are for another episode of the greatest Monday Night Wrestling show in history, Monday Night Claw. Oh baby. Oh yeah, it's going to be a wild one. Only a week to, uh, well, less than a week, in fact, to uh, Hell in a Cell. Can't wait to for that. And uh, I guess Theresa Mim is going to fill us in on what's going to be happening there. Soon. <laughs> Can't wait to hear what she has to say, Jim. <laughs> yep. Oh, this is brilliant. I get to go back into my yep. <laughs> oh, tensions are rising as that load bar goes across the screen. Here we go, baby. <laughs> oh boy, let's let's hear what she has to say. She is looking serious. <laughs> Seriously hot. <laughs> <laughs> JFW Universe. Well, as you may know, on the 20th of June, we have Hell in a Cell. <laughs> Fuck me. And for that card, we are going to have a very special night. Every championship will, there will only be five matches, but every match will be defended in an Armageddon Hell in a Cell match with six competitors in each match. It's going to be hellacious. And to whet your appetite for that, tonight the main event will be all of the champions in action in Hell in a Cell. There will be Frost Lord Army, Cocky and Moradam, Squirrel Dude, Le Bread Mask, and of course, Rick Reckless in your main event. So there you go. All of the competitors will be revealed in time for the challenges for Hell in a Cell. But until then, see ya! Oh my goodness. Well, she is a lexical wizard. <laughs> if the rock, the rock envies those promo skills, I tell you now. Yeah. My days. <laughs> I wasn't hyped before. Oh, baby, I am now. <laughs> yeah, I was battling to try and find the thing, you know, that goes over the words, and I couldn't find it, so never mind. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so there you go. That's, uh, that's going to be amazing, isn't it? <laughs> and... Uh, yeah, so we've got we've got a bit of a we've got a bit of like a multi-man special on tonight. We've got uh, loads of streamers involved and loads of triple threat matches. Um, first pin wins, just like it's going to be in these Armageddon Hell in a Cell matches. See, clever. And we've got Flicky Flack, Dimmy G, and Calcium. Glorious. Loads of streamers. It's almost like a BBSL special here in JFW tonight. And oh my days, three of the all-time classics of JFW. Mr. Interesting, Flicky Flack, the math magician, <laughs> Dimmy G, and the teenage <laughs> destroying uh, MMA artist, Calcium Kaz, baby. Wow. What a match. <laughs> yes, Bezel, on actually a Monday. <laughs> <laughs> Woo. Jimmy. I don't I don't know more I don't know why Dimmy's like that. He could have been he could have been looking more more angry, I guess. But here he is, Dimmy's out for <laughs> out for blood. He's chair proof.
Well, Jim, who's the favorite here? Who would you say is most on form out of our three competitors in this matchup? Uh, it's got to be Flicky Flack, hasn't he? He actually, he actually killed Pepper Biscuit quite recently. Oh my um, goodness, he did. <laughs> yeah, if, if you haven't seen that uh, that uh, that pit view, I heartily recommend it. Um, what was it? Backlash, backlash. Yeah, that was it. It was pretty. It was pretty. It was a pretty good show, and he did end up murdering Pepper Biscuit in a in a fight to the death. Um, so it's hard to bet against him, isn't it? It is, it is. Have we got an update on Pepper Biscuit? Have we had the funeral? Um, I, I don't, I think they had like an open casket and then he just got out. <laughs> oh my, oh my goodness. He is now officially Mind undead, when, uh, part of Six Feet Down Under. Hogan threw the giant off a building in the mid 90s in WCW, just for the giant to, to walk back down to the ring a couple of weeks later. <laughs> incredible, incredible stuff. <laughs> Makes me reminisce. Yeah, he is flicky. He still, he still bears the marks from that fight against Pepper Biscuit. It was an absolute war. It went on all night long. It's and incredible. It, uh, Scars that will stay with him for life. <laughs> and he's taken out this hammer as a taunt. The hammer that killed Pepper Biscuit. Unbelievable. Wow. Will we see it in action? We'd hope not. <laughs> Dimmy is not hammer-proof, only chair-proof. <laughs> <laughs> He's a giant of a man, isn't he, our Flicky? He is. Heck of a physique. But <laughs> the brains of Timmy and the skills of Kaz are going to be uh, a big challenge for him to overcome. <laughs> yeah. Oh, wow, Moradan betting on the champ. <laughs> Yeah, this calcium and calcium is no joke, is he? These are all three serious, serious JFW competitors. They've all had their moments in the sun in the history of JFW. And like you say, Flicky's the one in form going into this match. That doesn't mean he'll be the one in form coming out of it. I mean, Dimmy and Flicky have both got a lot going for them in that they wear roughly twice what uh, calcium is used to. <laughs> He's to having a fight with <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, but Dimmy also has about the same mental age, so it's, you know, a <laughs> li little bit give and take. <laughs> Very good, Pussy. <laughs> Jim Potato from Dimmy Glory. <laughs> Calcium's in pretty good form as well. Oh no, he did lose to PC the other week, so actually, yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna pick Flicky for this one. But then we say he's in form, which is technically true, but we see the scars on his body. Like he might not be fully recovered from that matchup yet. He might not either, no. either physically or psychologically. And sensibly, he takes the back seat in this early matchup as uh Dimmy takes down Calcium with an arm drag. Uh, but then a nice forearm to the back after Flicky distracts Dimmy. <laughs> Misses with the first kick to the head, connects with the second. <laughs> oh, oh the and boots. Flicky with a huge big boot. Right, making his entrance in this match in style. <laughs> again, knocks them both oh. down with that. <laughs> oh my goodness. He really is in form and he is a beast of a man. Physically, the other two have work to do to overcome him. Absolutely. <laughs> He's just he is, he is clean in house at the moment here. <laughs> Early for a camel clutch submission, but softening Dimmy up for later. Has already struggling back to his feet. <laughs> nice neck breaker from Dimmy. Oh, and then counters Calcium's attack. That is true, PC. How quickly do you get over killing a man, even if you really had no choice? Even if it was kill or be killed, that kind of thing sticks with you. <laughs> well, you should know, Rick. <laughs> <laughs> and you get a taste for it. I mean, I mean, it can, it, yeah, it can haunt your dreams. <laughs> 
Jimmy tried for the early win with Flicky Distract on the outside, but then a power slam and a fall away slam putting him in his place as Kaz relaxes in the corner, but he's maybe picked the wrong moment. <laughs> and here comes a big power slam from Flicky Flag. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Kazim just nops the fuck out of there. <laughs> <laughs> wow, it's brutal. Early pin attempt for Flicky Flat with Calcium out of the way, but a kick out at one from Dimmy. Oh, Dimmy looking like he's about 12 beers in already in this match. <laughs> he looks a bit wobbly, doesn't he? <laughs> he really does. Oh, Kaz coming back in style. That's some impressive power on the big man. Dimmy, though. Yeah, catches him from behind, takes him down, and now we'll drop to the chest. And then Flicky with a massive clothesline and another pin attempt. He is determined to get the quick victory here today is Flicky, and this time he gets it up to two. He is making progress, and he calls for his finisher. Oh, boy. Oh, but look at Dimmy. Dimmy Wise to his tricks. He was. He was biding his time, playing possum, and uh, a fist oh. to the ribs, and then a low blow. <laughs> And Flicky had just taken this out Calcium. That could be all. Oh, Calcium oh, gets my in the Incredible recovery. Yeah, just ran in at the speed of light there. I really am impressed with Calcium's speed. He certainly has the speed advantage on the other two in this match. <laughs> Those years of ninja training paying off. <laughs> he's, he's, he's able to kick the shit out of 14-year-olds and run away from everyone else. <laughs> and, and raising... 25 kids by, you know, that's going to keep you quick on your feet as well. Absolutely. You can't do that and be a slouch. <laughs> Find his way back into the ring here as Flicky tried to knock him off the apron. Dimmy's out of it on the outside. If somebody could uh, hit a quick pin, they might get a cheeky win here. Vicious Kelsey kicks. Doing work in the corner, though. Yeah, really nicely wearing down Flicky. Probably wisely realized that Flicky hasn't taken the same level of damage as Dimmy so far. Flicky blocks the suplex attempt, though, and reverses it. Boy, howdy. Dimmy doesn't want to be left out, though. He's back from the outside. Oh, nice. Oh, my goodness. And a, a falling drop onto his knees really lays out Calcium. Now, is he going to throw Flicky out? Give himself the chance to finish Calcium off. Oh, here we go. Oh, baby. What a bulldog <laughs> busts Flicky open. The athleticism from Timmy, absolutely incredible. And Calcium can't get to his feet in time. Oh. Kick out at two. <laughs> oh, <another low> blow. <laughs> what is the ref playing at? He surely saw that low blow. Triple threat is not no disqualification. And it's over. <laughs> Calcium takes it with a low blow right in front of the referee. What kind of organization are you running here, Jim? Fuck off, Timmy. Hey, what can I say? <laughs> it is what it is. <laughs> when you go into a vicious cockfight, you've got to do anything it takes to win. <laughs> well, we see Calcium Kaz there using uh, his experience. He knows that, you know, the freshly fallen balls of a teenager at their vulnerable ball <laughs> points and uh, attacking Dimmies has, has paid, for, paid dividends tonight. Maybe Flicky was still suffering from the aftermath of his match with Pepper Biscuit at Backlash. Wasn't quite quick enough to pick up the win in a triple threat. Might be in form enough to win a one-on-one. -on -one, but uh, yeah, triple threat is a whole different kettle of fish. It really is, yep. Very impressive from Kelsey. Here is your winner, <laughs> <laughs> the only one with balls left one. <laughs> yep. <laughs> oh yeah, Ducky, it's not on YouTube yet. I didn't, I meant to publish it today and forgot. So yeah, yeah, it's not good, is it? But never mind. There you go, what a victory for Calcium. Yeah, the crowd popping for him there. Impressed by what they saw. <laughs> yeah. And now we've got another triple threat. But this time it's hot plim plum plus weight action. We've got a couple of fan favourites here. Muppet Pac-Man, Elliot and Hippie. <laughs> Hippie is, uh, is, is new to me, having been away for a little while. I'm very, very interested to see how Hippie performs here. Fantastic booking, having back-to-back -back triple threats, because, uh, you know, you just can't have enough of them. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, yeah, be interested to see if any of them employ the same tactics that just won Calcium Cows that match. <laughs>
Yeah, maybe. We Views might expressed in this stream might see a lot are of not ball supported shots. by the Rebel admin team. <laughs> yeah, PC, but as Rick called it, that's the thing. That's, that's one of the most weak, aren't they? Those, those freshly descended balls. <laughs> Absolutely zero hesitation from Kelsey. <laughs> in zeroing in on the weakest part of the enemies. Right, here we go. So I'm I'm a big, big fan of Muppet in the JFW, Jim. Um, there was a time when EAB was running rampant over the whole of the JFW, no matter what size you were or whoever you'd beaten previously. And the least likely um, hero came along and was absolutely wrecking him when EAB decided not to climb back in the ring and got a count out victory and that was Muppet Pac-Man. Nobody saw it coming. The size difference was a true modern David and Goliath tale and uh, he's been a hero in my eyes ever since. Yeah, that's absolutely true. Absolute giant slayer, isn't he, Muppet? Legend, legend in the JFW. But quickly so my, my... approaching the, the same status of fan favorite as Elliot with this glorious entrance. <laughs> How can you not like this entrance? It ranks up there with the ultimate warrior for all time getting over entrances. Everybody jigging along. Oh, and what a groove he has. Lucky charms are going to be shared all around tonight, baby. Yep. <laughs> lucky charms and lucky cloakers. <laughs> <laughs> Who ever thought uh, a hip wiggle from a leprechaun could ever be so enticing? <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> Here he is. The demonically snake possessed arms of Muppet Pac Man. <laughs> I love how up for it Muppet always gets. He's a determined man, isn't he? You know, you can see it in his eyes. You can see it in his demeanor. He wants this. He wants the victory. And he wants to raise himself up the ranks of JFW once more. My question, Jim, is how many 619s, baby? Oh, I, I think only three. Only three for this match. I'll, uh, I'll, I'll one-up you with a four. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, here's Hippie. You haven't seen him a lot lately. He was he was there right at the start of the JFW, um, but he's taken a back seat over over the over time. But he he still does come around every now and then. Now you mention it. Now you mention it. I remember the scar. Legend <laughs> told of the boy with that scar. <laughs> yep. Let's see if uh, we see any magic tonight. Coming down with the baseball bat in the style of Sting. Yeah. Of course, bleeding hippie at top Quidditcher, and <laughs> oh yeah, beautiful. <laughs> That's why he's got that shit. <laughs> Will he get himself some golden snatch tonight? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> snitch. Sorry. <laughs> golden snitch. <laughs> oh, dear. I don't know how you get away with being so rude, Rick, despite your uh, your wonderful family-friendly image. <laughs> Gets away well, with your Well, this is obviously fault. wrestling's uh, a PG entertainment show, isn't it? So, uh, yeah. <laughs> gotta, gotta keep it clean, you know, but we, we all misspeak from time to time. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. Muppet straight away with multiple suplexes on Hippie. Hippie might want to go away again for a year or so. Holy shit. Unbelievable. Just instant. Gets caught by Elliot, though. Snap suplex. Elliot with the win. Surely the quickest win in JFW if that finished it, but it doesn't, of course. Not even a one count. What's the quickest win we've had in JFW, Jim? Do you recall? Oh, um, no. <laughs> <laughs> it, it, it was, I'm sure it was Squirrel Dude versus Cocky for a long time. Um, mm. But I think it got, I think it got beaten recently. I think there was one like really recent. Oh yeah, Lemon got eliminated instantly in one thing. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, Flicky versus Lebred. Yeah, that was brutal, wasn't it? 
Yeah, Flicky versus Flicky versus Lebred. When it was a it was a fight, so that if Lebred lost, he was he was gonna get killed. <laughs> and then Lebred lost oh my instantly. Goodness. Flicky just has, <laughs> has had no qualms about killing people. He's he's actively killed two people, and he had he was good. He would have wow. happily let Lebred die. So he really is the serial killer of the JFW. Okay, he wasn't is, enough yeah. to beat Calcium though. <laughs> Muppet really taking it to both competitors now. Hippie, though, celebrating on the outside. And actually, Muppet gets reversed by Elliot. Rolls Whoa. out the ring, but a huge clothesline and kick up from Hippie. <laughs> Seeing the high-flying agility of these three now. Mm. Armbreaker into a pin. Kick out at one. Still some more work to be done here for Hippie. But he bided his time well. And Muppet, for the first time, tasting canvas. Lots of reversals going on here. Beautifully done. Kick to the head from Elliot and a stomp to the back, but he hasn't seen Muppet. Oh. <laughs> was uh, very elegant. It didn't connect an inch, but it... Oh, what on earth is Elliot doing? Just falling around the ring. <laughs> hey. Lulling his opponents into a full sense of security and sure enough, falls again and dodges the wheel kick of Muppet and then gets a fall away slam and Muppet is down. Hippie recovering now, though. Who will he go after? Reversal from Muppet. Nice drop kick. Oh Drags the arm of Hippie, and he's got Elliot out the ring. He can finish it here. Hurricane Rana, no. Oh, yes. here we go. Six on nine. <laughs> Boosh. One. <laughs> oh, he goes for the pin as well. Is it over already? Could that could be it. It really could. He doesn't go for the pin. Unbelievable. Oh, no. He wants more six one nines. He says one is not enough. <laughs> Elliot's had a chance to recover now. <laughs> oh, 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 but another wheel kick taking him straight down, and that's the pin. Hippie has not recovered. He is unconscious and helping to pin Elliot. His head <laughs> resting against his feet. That was amazing. Nearly assisted in his own demise in this matchup. Elliot has recovered now, though. He hasn't actually taken too much damage. A nice little uh, DDT, snap DDT from Elliot. Picks up Muppet. Oh my word, some fantastic athleticism straight into a pin, but Hippie was there to break it up. Yeah, Hippie was there and wise to it. Great wing, wing, wing awareness? Wing awareness for <laughs> 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 Gotta be aware of those wings. <laughs> yeah. they'll, uh, they'll catch you out. <laughs> Can't go flying too near to the sun with wings made of something. Um, yeah. Yes. <laughs> there we go. Um, Elliot now taking out both men. Muppet trying to reverse, going for a suplex. Yep, he's got him. Oh, leg caught horribly on the ring. Ropes there, but uh, Muppet with another suplex, going for a third. Hippie completely out of it on the ropes. Oh, yeah. He's going to have to well, wake up soon. He's, he, ha he has. Oh, the capture suplex. <laughs> Amazing. He was he was not as out as he made it look there, just waiting for Muppet to take out Elliot and then oh, a massive wow. suplex. This is it, this is the move. He always misses it. He always, he always goes from too oh, far no. away and misses. And he's gonna do it Take again. Time. <laughs> oh no, he didn't even go for it! Oh, that's a beautiful slam into the pin, held on to the leg, and that was nearly it. That really was. Really Elliot was. had not recovered in time, but he is back in now. Wrenches the arm over his shoulder. Who's going to come out on top of this grapple? They just break it off. Oof. He catches the leg. Oh, right kicks now. the thigh, punch to the face. Oh. And what a backbreaker, falling backbreaker. Just Absolutely superb athleticism. Bro. It is. No one going for a pin though. Oh, here we go. What's this? Oh, God. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Nearly over there. Muppet catching Hippie with an elbow, busting him over into a power bomb that he holds on to for the pin with Elliot totally out of it. And there's the yeah, snake. The snake to the heart. That's got to be it. Elliot, you've got to get up. He's not. It's over. Oh, he's kicked out. <laughs> Unbelievable. How has Hippie kicked out of that? That was not possible. <laughs> Elliot is up now. Again, he was just too slow to break up the pin, but he is up again now. Surely Muppet's kicking out of that. He does at one. God, this is all action, isn't it? And it's incredible. 
These guys in this division are just absolutely superb. The athleticism is on another level. The show that they put on every match. <laughs> Elliot just rolling on the spot there. <laughs> Maybe was trying to get out. Fails. Is not going to get up in time again. Hippie with another kick out. Blood gushing down his face now. He can't have much left in him. It's almost a battle over who can pin Hippie. Whoa, what a missile dropkick from Elliot. Muppet is on the outside. Elliot's not done with him. He should probably focus on Hippie. He does, but too late. My God, what a match this is. Incredible. Absolutely incredible. <laughs> too much taunting there from Hippie, though. Hippie forgetting his inner triple threat. Muppet was not that out of it, but a great series of Cosmos. <laughs> he gets them both a splash in the corner on both of them. Wow, absolutely pulverizes Elliot, but Muppet's looking ready. No, he catches him in a full Nelson slam. Oh, this could be it. And he this could be on it. Again for the pin. That's got to be it. Oh. oh, kick out at two. Oh. I suppose he did the damage to Elliot and then tried to pin Muppet. He probably got that the wrong way around him. Probably, yeah. This is unbelievable. Um... In the midst of all that, though, um, good day, Cocky. Hello, Peter Biscuit. And yes, it is. It is Rick Schiavone on comms, where we are honoured to have such a such a legendary commentator join us. Absolutely glorious. So good to be here, Jim Elliot, taking Hippie out and then Leprechauning <laughs> up. He feels the power of the gold pot. <laughs> oh my days! He jumps out of the ring and then back in. <laughs> and then goes for a pin. <laughs> Beautiful stuff from Elliot. Nobody quite expected that. Just the one count, though. He might want to actually do a move here. <laughs> that might be an idea, yep. <laughs> oh, got got a little a confused with his DACA strategy. <laughs> little uppercut goes for a pin again. He's feeling very confident about keeping Muppet down here with not very much offense. <laughs> yeah. That, I mean, that really is the DACA, isn't it? Minimal offense. Hope to win somehow anyway. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Once again, we see the Dakar not working and Hippie's back in it, but a beautiful oh. falling sloopex from uh, Elliot. Oh, wow. Brutal that was, wasn't it? In the corner. Doesn't go for the pin after that. Well, he needed a breather, so he went to the outside, but Hippie came out and caught him. And who's going to get the better here? It's Elliot with a cross to punch to the face. Oh. But then Hippie coming back with one of his own. Oh, oh and a backbreaker. Muppet's still completely gone. Oh, this could and be he's it. that hit. It is. is. <laughs> Hippie returning in style. Look how exhausted he is. The blood engulfing his entire body now. <laughs> what a match that was. Only 1619, tragically. Yeah, you, you you had me on that. I, uh, I went higher and I should have gone lower. <laughs> Yeah, that move. I don't know what it's called, but uh, that's Hippie's, that's Hippie's uh, finisher and used a great effect to get the win over Elliot. He really did. Could be called the Golden Snatch, just, so just putting that out there, but, uh, you know, Jim, Jim's McMahon, <laughs> he calls the shots around here. The Golden Snatch is a, is a great thing. Man. Right. So now, boy, boy howdy, the, uh, the stream of special continues with Finny and Chunter, the fucking rats, up against Dansk Dansk Revolution, K. and Zetok the Dane. Glorious. <laughs> wow, yeah, these four know a thing or two about streaming, and they know a thing or two about wrestling. Yep. Fucking rats, absolutely dominant tag team in the JFW throughout its entire existence. Yeah, they really have been. They've been such a force. They did lose a backlash, um, but they've been they've been pretty much like incredible in their entire history. Yeah, for sure. And Dance Dance, Dance Revolution Zetok, have uh, a, a good team, but they've also had their moments in solo action and a difference in uh, in weight categories here. <laughs> yeah, yeah, K-Fog definitely <laughs> weighing probably as much as the other three guys in this combat. <laughs> <laughs> but um, the real question, who would win in a fight out of a rabbit and a rat? Let's find out. 
That's, that's a great question. Yeah, we're about to we're about to find out. So how do these two fare in the tag team title scene at the moment, Jim? Yeah, the the, the fucking rats did have a match at Backlash, um, and they, they they did all right. But I believe Chunter tapped out, um, and Finny didn't help him. Oh, could we see the start of descent here? I tell you what, I just noticed on that entrance, Finney was really going for those kind of like sky reaches. Chunter <laughs> didn't look so enthusiastic, you know. Yeah. Might not be quite on the same page that we're used to here from the fucking rats. Maybe not. Um, and yeah, do you know what? Zetok the Dane might have actually had the fastest loss in JFW history against uh, against Clavius when Clavius won the uh, the Chaos Chosen Championship and won in our first pay per view, I believe. And that was a very quick match. So yeah, Zetok hasn't had a lot of success in singles, but as a tag team, they've done okay. <laughs> But they've got the entrance. No, oh, baby. <laughs> Gushing compliments there <laughs> from Jim to the Danish duo. Um, I've got to ask because I can't honestly tell. What exactly is it that Zetok has there? It's it's a selfie stick. Um, I thought it might be. It's it's very wide and wobbly. Yeah. Yeah. But it is, you know, it's like you know the uh, the Prince Pretty and that the Fashion Police. It's it's oh yeah, it's, it's their entrance. But unfortunately, the video that plays is just like you know, like a canned video. It's not them actually in the entrance because oh, yeah. it'd be amazing if if like if you could have on the Titan Tron, like <laughs> actually Zetok and PTK would be amazing, wouldn't it? <laughs> Oh, baby, making it rain from PTK. <laughs> Glory. <laughs> he is going to try and make himself some winner's bonus tonight. <laughs> oh, <fuck some> <laughs> I was thinking maybe he sweats a little bit. <laughs> Good evening, little wrestlers. What can I do for you? Country up against the big man in the ring. The previous oh. two CCL champions. Yeah. Now trying to see who's the greatest out of the two in wrestling. Oh, baby. He's a, he's a oh, and a promo. massive slam from PTK. He's not messing around. Oh, but a reversal. Drags the leg and gets the big man down. <laughs> Chunter having none of it. Saying size isn't everything. I've got the speed. <laughs> Gets him down again with a neckbreaker of sorts to the knee. Oh. oh, but look at the strength. Unbelievable. And then a quick tag out. That's a good strategy from PTK, isn't it, Jim? Get in the big power moves and then tag out to the more agile and uh, higher stamina man. Yeah, absolutely. You want those tags. Keep, keep both competitors fresh, don't you? You want to tag as much as possible, basically. Yeah, it's good for any tag team, but I, I really like the combination of tag teams of the big man, uh, more agile man, um, re reminiscent of the Hart Foundation when it was Bret Hart and Jim the Anvil and how well that worked for them. Multiple tags even more important in a tag team like that. Yes, well, of course, we have had plenty big man, little man challenges on JFW, haven't we? Um, and I believe that is how Dance Dance Revolution formed as well. So there you go. <laughs> There we go. Some wonderful JFW history for us. And in comes Finney. I was wondering if the Danes have managed to keep Chunter in for a while, but we've got Finney already, but immediately taken down by a clothesline from Zetok. <laughs> Squeezing his head. I'm not sure which one of them is enjoying that more. <laughs> and it's a big head to squeeze. <laughs> Gigantic Managing forehead to on Finney. Managing around the ears. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, Finney, uh, a house of fire here. Oh, Takes out to the outside, goes to the top rope. Will it connect? He's taking too long. Surely he's taking too long. Waiting for Zetok to stand now. Zetok surely just biding his time. Oh, no! Unbelievable! <laughs> Looks like he broke his back, but hey, at least he hit him on the way down. <laughs> <laughs> 
Who came out of it worse? Time will tell. Well, Finney is still on his feet. It was a huge bump from Finney there. But yeah, the, the feet connected to the head of Zetok, and he is out of it. He needs a tag. Oh, smashing nice him off the hardest part of the ring there. <laughs> Certainly did. Finney now bringing it back in and stopping him from getting the tag. Fantastic tag team wrestling, but the reversal from Zetok giving him a chance to tag. Wisely whipping Finney into the corner to Ooh. make the tag easy, but then the reversal prevents it. Yeah, incredible. Zetok does it again, brings it back to the corner, surely making the tag now. There it is. Fantastic tag team wrestling from the Danes. Oh, and a double team move. You've got to love it. I absolutely <laughs> live and die for the double team moves. Finney's in a bad way here, Jim. He really is. And God, k so powerful, isn't he? He's, he is an oh. absolute giant. Just throwing him around like a rag doll, playing with him, doing whatever he wants. But no, Finney with the reversal as we speak again, using the speed, gets a Hurricane Rana, but surely he needs to go make the tag, and he doesn't. Stays too long trying to wear down PTK and gets caught. Yeah. This is just, he's just tossing him off all over the place now, isn't he? Oh, this is absolutely brutal, Jim. This could be over. If Chunta can't make a save, you've got to think PTK can pin Finney whenever he wants now. <laughs> yep. Oh, oh fast, Finney though. with the fake out. Rolls out the <laughs> ring as if he's dying and then dives straight back in but misses. <laughs> PTK. I guess he needs a bigger target. <laughs> I guess he does. Oh, God, yeah. Sky Blue Monty would be pretty good, wouldn't he? Oh, yeah. Oh, my goodness. Definitely. <laughs> <laughs> what on earth did we just see? <laughs> Finney got PTK up. <laughs> Strength that I didn't believe was humanly possible. Oh my god. Maybe it's possible for a rat. Maybe it is. He's all he's all uh, hyped up on warp stone. <laughs> <laughs> this is back and forth. Every time somebody seems to get on top, there's a reversal and Finney finds oh. himself back in trouble and he's busted over by the big knee. <laughs> oh Kfog looks like he's mad. Oh, for some kind of crazy choke on that bro. Ducky bringing up uh, Rick's past as Demon Rick. It's uh, everyone has a past, Ducky. <laughs> we <laughs> we all make mistakes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, again! Oh my goodness! Reversal after reversal. Elbow to the face. This is an unbelievable. <laughs> Back and forth clinic of wrestling here. Nobody getting the advantage, nobody getting the tag. But you have to think Finney's taking the more damage every time they exchange blows. Yeah, for sure. It's, there's only so much his body can take of this. There's sheer impact from PTK. Oh, that was innovative offense, wasn't it? Brutal. Was nice for a big man, but look. Struggling with his stamina, giving Finney the chance to tag. Finney's back on his feet. Oh, not quite. Big suplex now by PTK. And look at the height he gets on those. He's so incredibly tall. Finney. Oh, with the diving tag. And Chunt is in and he takes him down. And PTK has been in there a long time. Not had a chance to catch his breath. Does get an uppercut on Chunt, but it's not enough. And he is knocked out from a kick. Taken down by a drop kick. Unbelievable offense. Yeah, these giant Can feet. Chunta get in a... Oh, oh and a diving tag of his own. And the two fresh men are in. And what's really interesting here, Jim, is that, of course, Finney and PTK is so exhausted now, not ready to break up any pin attempt. If one of these can get in a finish, that will stick and that will do us. Absolutely. Oh, oh. <laughs> wow, cricket. the elevation. <laughs> Beautiful Zet. It's all Zetok at the moment. Oh, just as I say that, Junta, Junta catches the kick. And he's... Oh, those, those fucking rats. He tries to remove the cushioning from the turnbuckle. But Zetok too quick for him. And goes for the pin after a missing a stomp to the head for some reason. <laughs> Gets a one count. Amazing. 
That oh, was a nice bit of brain worms for Chunter, that wasn't it? Going for the. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. I'm going to try and move. Fail. Oh, why, why not? Going, yeah, let's just go for a pin instead. Yeah. G genius scientific wrestling. <laughs> wow, again, just like before, and it's oh! been versus PTK. We're seeing reverse after reversal, and this referee not as blind as in match one. The low blow is called. Zetok and PTK are the winners. Chunter is caught, and the dirty fucking rats are out of there. Oh, oh man, that's wild. <laughs> Incredible. Incredible. I don't think I've ever seen Chunter go for the stoop to the low blow before. Amazing. Yeah, maybe Chunter and Finney are not on the same page. Unbelievable. Tell you what, I'm wearing a box if I'm ever doing commentary here again, Jim. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's, there's a lot of ball shots in the JFW. <laughs> to be fair, the, the tag team champs are, are even called cock and ball torches. <laughs> 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 but yeah, next up we've got a triple threat here. We've got Firstborn, we've got Purple Chest, and we've got The Artemis Black. Unbelievable, Jeff. Wow, it really is a streaming buffet this evening. Three of the best Firstborn, the, the beer master... Um, PC, the velvety voice of an angel, and uh, an Artemis Black uh, controversy <laughs> follows him wherever he goes. Who, uh, who do you think is uh, is the most in form here then out of these three, Jim? Oh, I think it's got to be Purple Chest. He has been on he's been on a bit of a tear recently, and he beat Calcium the other week. So, yeah, I think it's got to back PC. And here he is. We've seen guitars win a few matches in the history of wrestling. If you watch the early days of TNA, we've seen guitars win every single match in the history of wrestling. <laughs> and, uh, so <laughs> maybe maybe PC will uh, will use that to his advantage. But he's in such good form, like you say, anyway, with a number of victories, beating Calcium Kaz recently. And we've seen that Kaz is no slouch tonight. By the way, again, great booking. Props to you. Third triple threat of the night. I guess it's a, it's a triple triple threat. It is, it is like it's a multi-man special to, to prep us for Hell in a Cell on the 20th of June, Sunday, 8 p.m. UTC. It's going to be a wild one. Absolutely fantastic. And what's the main event of Hell in a Cell, Jim? Or do we not yet know? We do not yet know. They're all going to be, as as Theresa Mim said, they're all going to be six-man Armageddon Hell in a Cell, every, every title on the line, so who who knows who those competitors are going to be. Maybe it's going to be some of the people in action tonight. Oh my goodness. First one taking inspiration from the Mountie and the Boss Man. Law enforcement, <laughs> very important to this wrestler. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> yep. <laughs> going to be some hard times for, for PC oh, in this matchup and Artemis Black. Is, uh, is Artemis still tag teaming there with Dio? He is, yeah, but coming out tonight as a solo artiste. Um, you know, maybe he's trying to strike out on his own, away from the crew. Could be. This could be the start of great things as a singles competitor. <laughs> could be. And the hello one scene. Hello, uh, hello Tom Schnitz. Biggest head in the JFW. <laughs> he has got a giant head as Artemis. <laughs> well, he sure knows how to dance. I always suspected. <laughs> Didn't even get to play wrestling. <laughs> 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 oh, no, he didn't. No, he didn't. A huge big move from PC and the inform man, you called it perfectly. Backbreaker to Firstborn. He is wrecking house, reverses Artemis Black. Is anybody going to get an offense move in that isn't PC here? He doesn't need to see. He doesn't need to look at his opponents. He can just beat anybody at any time. Artemis finally getting in a little bit of offense, but taken down by Firstborn. God, that was amazing. Big boot to the big head. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah who what came off worse the giant head or the foot of pc <laughs> artemis now is a call of duty streamer for economic but you know he might do blood ball again you never know probably should have had dio in instead of that but i don't know i wanted to see that entrance haven't seen it for ages <laughs> <laughs> it was pretty darn good 
Nothing wrong with having uh, a bit of Call of Duty streaming uh, in the JFW. Oh my goodness, but he gets absolutely launched by Firstborn. Firstborn, not, not a slouch in the physique department, but didn't look like he had that kind of power. Very, very impressive. Yeah. Didn't expect him to toss him off Cesaro. quite so viciously. <laughs> Cesaro doesn't look like the strongest man in the history of wrestling, but he could always perform incredible feats of strength at the ring, and he completely wipes out PC to the outside. But rather than focusing on Artemis to go for a win, well, okay, he does now. <laughs> <laughs> initially thought of going after PC, maybe seeing just how devastated PC was by the toss to the outside. He then changed his mind and went for Artemis, but he left it too long. And Artemis had a chance to recover. And he would be going for a finisher, but PC coming back with a headbutt to the back of the head and then launches him across the ring. These three guys are strong. <laughs> Incredible stuff. <laughs> oh, great celebration from PC. The crowd going wild. <laughs> Kick to the back of Artemis. Artemis and Firstborn totally out of it. Oh, but Firstborn was playing possum. Runs across the ring out of nowhere and wipes out PC into wrenching of their head. I'm sure PC won't give up yet, but that's going to soften him up for later. Artemis needing a break in the corner. <laughs> First one saying, no free. break for you except for a back break. <laughs> and surely that's not going to quite be it, but yeah, one count there on Artemis and PC is again on the outside. <laughs> Firstborn loving this. Really is. This is the Firstborn show so far. Kick to the back of Artemis and a stomp. Pulls oh, for something. Dear. Going for the, the trapezius there. Cutting off the blood to the head. And uh, that head needs a lot of blood. <laughs> yeah, oh, and he's, he's leaking blood now. Busted open by oh. PC. Oh, my goodness. The, the little blood it had left now pouring from the forehead. And a pin. That could be it with the damage that Artemis just took. No, he does kick out at one. Artemis got some fight in him here. PC with an elbow to the head. May is it, is it a weakness, the head being so large? Oh, he, he took something out of his he took something out of his trousers there, he did, Jim. Yeah. And he wiped out PC. PC went down like a stone. <laughs> and then he hit it back under the uh, his, his wrist wrappings. Yeah. Wow. He definitely, there was some sort of knuckle dusters or something going on there, Jim. Absolutely disgusting behavior from the out of his black there. Outrageous. Wow, it's a night of low blows and illegal <laughs> hidden objects, secret weapons. <laughs> the refs have no chance. Ooh. Launched into the turbo, but he catches the fist and slaps PC across the face. Oh, end of days. End of oh days. Oh my goodness, that could be it. He's already been hit by knuckle dusters. Oh. Artemis is nowhere. How is PC kicking out? I really don't know. I've got, that is crazy. I can't believe he kicked out of that. I really thought Artemis had him, yeah, for him to kick out of that as well. Absolutely unbelievable. He's completely dead now. Wow, what a slam. Just go for from it again, why not? Yeah, PC looking really knackered, but he hasn't taken any moves since that finisher, and he kicks out at one. Artemis is struggling, but Firstborn... Oh, I thought he was having a rest, but he's getting psyched up in the corner. <laughs> Wow, really, really getting the crowd on his side here, but he might be taking too long. Yeah, both opponents down. Probably should be trying to inflict some damage. <laughs> uh, yes, another celebration. <laughs> in getting a little bit confused as to what is offense and uh, what is, uh, yeah, celebrating here. Goodness me. Now getting caught by Artemis, who's had a lot of time to recover on the outside. Oh. Artemis looking for the instant one in nine. <laughs> <laughs> Nails him. Put oh PC ready word. to break up any pinning attempt. No, not now he's not. Oh, this could be it. Double skulls for Artemis as he kicks Firstborn <laughs> in the head and then wipes out PC. Is it the three count? <laughs> it is. Wow, out of nowhere, Jim. He's got him. Unbelievable. Did didn't feel like Firstborn had taken that much damage, but I guess he'd expended himself doing a lot of offense. <laughs> yeah. Oh. There really, there is something on his hand there, is there not? Absolutely, yeah. Uh, shocking for that. I don't know how PC kicked out of that, and then he kicked out at the end of days. Incredible performance from PC. 
think that's the same referee from match one, you know, Jim. You might need to have words with him. <laughs> he might be concussed, to be fair. <laughs> There's lots of concussions in the JFW. <laughs> We said Artemis might strike out in singles competition. I'd be interested to see where he goes from here. Yeah. Here is your winner, Another thing, we're, we're seeing a lot of busted open wrestlers taking the win tonight. Maybe uh, maybe uh, having your Crimson presented in front of you, a wake-up call. Maybe. Impressive win for the giant headed Artemis Buck. <laughs> There's one thing the Welsh know how to do it's win. Or if it's in the Euros, it's draw. <laughs> yeah. They, do, they win at Blood Bowl, but of course, the Welsh at Blood Bowl are usually British. <laughs> well, English, whatever. <laughs> well, here we go. Here we go. <laughs> it's Norse country <laughs> versus six feet down under. It's more Plovac and Space Cadet taking on Gadenik, who was killed by Flicky Flack and is now a zombie, and Gengar. There you go. Yeah, I realised I fucked it wow. up, Jimmy. Twat. <laughs> English! <laughs> the Welsh people in Blood Bowl are English. I knew what I meant. It's hard for people from outside of the UK to, to get that right, Jim. Don't, don't feel bad. Thanks. Um, coming from parts unknown, you know, it'll take you a while to, to adapt. <laughs> yeah. Yep. But yeah, here we go. Scandinavians of a sort uh, against <laughs> the Australians. Of a sort. <laughs> which, country will be, <laughs> which country will be going home happy? Adopted Scandinavians, let's say. Of cultural appropriation going on, but uh, we'll give them a pass. Well, Povak actually Croatian and Space Cadet English, so how well will they get on given that they just played in the football? Yeah, that's a great, that's a great thing that I didn't think of at all. And had I thought of that, I would have <laughs> thought of something about that, but yeah, that's a great point. Space Cadet explaining to him now um, <laughs> how good the Blood Bowl 3 actually is. <laughs> it's a beta more blow like it's bound to be rubbish. Don't worry, it'll be better than this. <laughs> and uh, also, like, talking a bit of strategy for tonight, saying if, if you don't go for the pin or submission, <laughs> we're more likely to win later in the match. Oh, brilliant. <laughs> and they do, of course, have that interlocking body hair. Fantastic. A <laughs> little snail trail on more oh, <laughs> Exactly the part that, that Space Cadet is missing. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, it's just purely coincidental, isn't it? Because they, they sent you the uh, the body shots that you asked for, and you just implemented them into the... Into the uh, WWE 2K19 uh, uh, model, and, and there we go. <laughs> yeah. Sheer coincidence. Incredible. <laughs> oh, <dear. laughs> they are up for this one tonight. <laughs> they really are. But they've got some uh, horrific opponents in six feet down under Young well let's hope terror. they've had their grog yeah because mortal men surely struck in the heart with fear at the sight of what they're about to face yep the secret to Gdanik's existence revealed that which does not live cannot die <laughs> He is the best at existing in the entire JFW. <laughs> the zombie and the he team is. Guardian, what a team. And if that doesn't work, he's got the hacks as well. <laughs> yeah. But then partnered by a Toon Guardian, and they do have Decay, Jim, so it kind of balances out a little bit. It's 
Good point. There should be a bit of animosity as well, right? Because uh, normally Tomb Guardian zombies never on the same team, but they are in the JFW. Mm. Good point. <laughs> yeah, thanks. I thought it was a great point. <laughs> <laughs> Credit where's credit's due, Jim. I uh, don't get to give you much very often, so when I do... <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> oh, dear me. Wow. <laughs> oh, my wow. word. Space Cadet was kind of looking around there at more Plovac at the referee, slowly strolling to the middle of the rig, and Gdanik just sprints over and drop kicks him in the face. God. I don't know what kind of zombie this is. I, I can't concentrate on the match because I'm just one of, trying to find the number of the Burns unit after that one. <laughs> 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 oh, you're, you're the best at what you do, Jim. There's, there's no two ways about it. It's just that nobody else does it. <laughs> Fist to the ribs now of Space Cadet. Edenic fighting out of the arm lock. Blocks the, uh, the, the cross body though, and there's the punches. Oh my days. Wow. If Gdanik had a proper face, it would be mashed. <laughs> Space Cadet on a rampage. He, he is the slightest man out the four here, isn't he? There's, there's some big size differentials going on. Absolutely, yeah. I mean, he is... He's all skin and bone, isn't he, Space Cadet? But he's he's stringy and he's tough. He and, knows how to use it. Yeah, and he's got that devastating elbow that he drops. Spiked elbow pad might, as well. If you can land that, you can win any match. He might be armor seven, but he's definitely got jump up frenzy block. <laughs> definitely. And as Elliot would say, berserkers are shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry, I couldn't help it. Nice manoeuvres from Morplovac. They're getting on top here. They've not allowed Gdanik to tag. Both have worked him over. Oh, double foot stomp to the chest. And then kicks him right back down again. Morplovac on an absolute vicious rampage here. He seems really pissed off about something. It's as if Croatia lost in the football the other day or something, but I wouldn't know about that. <laughs> and here we go. Gengar's in. Oh, boy. And he gets Immediately instantly Immediately caught by Morplovac, though. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. The rampage continues. This could be a one-man show here today in this matchup. Side rush and leg sweep. Getting Gengar down, not proving as difficult as it would look. Oh, well, there you go. Nails him with that. Finally wipes more Plovac out, but that is the first damage he's taken and a back body drop. He does have some meat on him, doesn't he, more Plovac? He's put together well, showing his full strength there with a huge arm wrench. And with that decay going on for Gengar, we wouldn't want to see that arm come out of the socket, that's for sure. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Oh, and yeah, another tag. Yeah, they're, they're working well, North Country. They really are. We thought there might be some animosity tonight. We also thought there might be some animosity on the other side. But yeah, so far, <laughs> North Country, the best of the two tag teams. Yeah, unbelievable. They've just got to watch out for the power of Gengar, though. It would only take a couple of moves from him to get them right back in it. And another double foot stomp. They both have that in their arsenal. <laughs> They do. Funnily, they have each other's arsenals. Um, well, <laughs> they, th well, there we go. They have identical <laughs> identical moves. Uh, Space Cadet and Mo Plovac. They were both trained by... Uh, I can't remember her name, but the uh, the Japanese lady who does the... Ins oh, Kairi Sen. Kairi Sen. They're both trained by... The Insane Elbow, isn't it? Oh, you know? nice. So they've both, got, they've both got the Insane Elbow. It's, like the, uh, oh my word, the height on that from Space Cadet. He was a Space Cadet for a moment there, but he <laughs> rocketed back to Earth and to continue his pummeling of Gengar and whips him into the corner, maybe for some double team oh. action. More playback is in, and yes, sure enough, this whipping really Gengar good. to the rope, oh. and he's up and he's down. <laughs> yeah, oh, finished. baby. Hello, Lean Gary. Danik absolutely begging for the tag here, but he just can't get there. He's not even close. Oh. 
big counter there. I think he was looking for the Space Cadet March was more plover, but uh, didn't get to pull it off. <laughs> oh, but Gengar should have gone for the tag and instead gets reversed and he's out in the outside. Oh my days, more Plovak not giving him a second to recover either, immediately out to continue the annihilation. Oh, wow. And there's a Hurricane Rana. Sheesh, that is a <laughs> impressive feat for someone of more Plovak size. I'd struggle to get that height. <laughs> Very impressive. And managing to <laughs> catch the chin with a forearm and a knee celebrates for a moment. This is absolutely devastating, Jim. Yeah, this is absolutely shocking. I can't believe that Norse country have been so on top of six feet down under. It's, it's unbelievable, isn't it? I'd say we were watching a murder if he wasn't already dead. <laughs> Brilliant. Ooh. It's, it's not nice, is it, going for the legs? The decay might be, you know, might be popping out that knee or something. Oh, I, yeah, I don't know if he's got a single limb working left anymore. It would only take one decent maneuver from all Plovak to finish this, and Space Cadet, you know, has got the speed to beat the uh, shuffling zombie that is Gedanik from making the save. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. oh, wow, that was Speaking bad of the dead here from Space Cadet. <laughs> what a Whoa! Stunner! Stunner! <laughs> Go for the pin, Space. Go for this pin. Just keep going with these tags. Constant tags. This is probably the best Norse country I've ever looked. This is one of the most impressive tag team performances I've seen, period. Yeah. Absolute squash match so far. Oh, here we go, the Space Cadet March! <laughs> oh, baby! <laughs> Woo! <laughs> oh, this could be it! This could absolutely be it! Space, get ready to make the save! No, go for the pin, more Plover! Go for the pin, sir! Maybe oh. that... Maybe that 1-0 loss to England has put fire in more Plovak's belly and that's what's driving him forward. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he, he had to take a breather, though. Maybe he'd have been better off going for a tag so they didn't have to pause. The offense, what's he doing? Is he going to the top rope? He is going to the he top is. rope, but he's taken ages. He's taken absolutely ages, Jim, even for a two-guardian. <laughs> Insane elbow. No. Oh, my God. He just jumps on him. The double foot stomp. Incredible. That's the third double foot stomp we've seen, but the first with the top rope and a single foot stomp. They like stomping the chest of, of poor Gengar for some reason. And he oh, wants to go back no. up. Oh, no. He's got the um, brain worms. Oh, no. Oh, and he's, he's tired out. That's the problem, Jim. He's just too tired. His brain and body just won't function anymore like it was. He needs to make the tag. I don't understand why he's not. And most importantly, he's got to stop Gengar from making the tag. Oh... He just does. about oh, didn't look like he had. Oh, just about God, does. Is it with a DDT? And now Reverse we will see DDT. the tag. We will. Gadanik, fresh as a daisy. <laughs> or Plovak just will not tag out. He could be in trouble now. He could. He is spent. Oh, God, look at this. Brutal submission here. Absolutely fantastic yanking from Gadanik. Well, Plovak just got enough to fight out. Tag me, says Space Cadet. But he's not. He just, he just wants to keep fighting. He has got the B in his body today. Another DDT. Oh, oh God. That looks like it's going to destroy Gadernik's legs. But he manages to get him up and down. Wow. Fantastic from Gadernik. And what? how the shoe has changed feet here from Gengar being stuck in the ring and absolutely spent to more Plovak now failing to tag over and over again as he fights a fresh Gdanik. It would only take one reversal for him to be in trouble, but what a great suplex here. And he holds off for the pin. No, no, totally fresh Gdanik. <laughs> <laughs> Not even a two count. He's got a, he's got a tag in space, surely. Yeah, here we go. There we go. And now it's time for a double team. And if they can wear Gdanik down, I can't see Gengar having much left in him if he ends up back in. He'll have recovered a little bit, but it wouldn't take much to wear him back down again. 
Six feet down under, running on fumes here, Jim. Yeah, this is real. This is really looking like could be a loss. And, and six feet down under have been on a tear. They've won about four matches in a row recently. But, uh, well, here we go. Well, it looks like something's happening nice, here. No. Nice to happen, Jim. <laughs> yeah, that's true. I mean, Gdynik's got it on his, on his shorts there. <laughs> Even more double team maneuvers from North's country. And another Space Cadet match. <laughs> oh my days. Tag team wrestling will never be the same again. <laughs> if they keep this form up, they're going to be champions for the next five years. <laughs> oh God, he's gone up top again. He's already crushed in the chest of Gengar. Does he crush it in the chest of Gdynik? It's the elbow. Oh, he touches it. Oh. <laughs> That had to be it, but no. Belly to back suplex from Gdynik. He might be able to hang on here. It's hard to say who'd be fresher out of him and Gengar, because Gengar took such a beating. Oh, he's certainly got the moves, and he's going for a finisher. Well, this could be the Koala Clutch. It is the Koala Clutch. He's got it locked in. Oh, boy. Space has got to make the save. What's Space doing? He's calling for the tag. you got to get in there, Space. Oh. He's thrown it all away! He's thrown it all away! How has Gdynik existed <laughs> in one of the biggest beatings we've ever seen in the history of tag team wrestling? And he still exists to victory! That is not possible! He must have pulled out the hacks there, Jim. I want a recount. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, Space Cadet. Oh, what's, what's going on here? Whoa. Space Cadet, angry at more blood space, but Space Cadet, if you could have just come in and help him, Space Cadet. Oh no. And more Plovite wouldn't make that tag. And he just wouldn't let go of the England 1 0 victory. <laughs> oh no. Wow. It's time for the main event. And what a main event we've got for you. It is an Armageddon Hell in a Cell match with all of the champions of the JFW. It, we've got Frost Lord Army, the uh, Wemdorp champion. We've got Cocky and Moradan, the tag team champions, but this is every man for himself. We've got Lebred Mask, the Plim Plum Plusweight champion. We've got Squirrel Dude, the World Heavyweight champion. And we've got Mr. Rick Reckless, the Extra Arms Belt champion himself. Boy, howdy. Oh, baby, what a wealth of talent this is. So rarely seen in one ring at one time. And, uh, yeah, hard to, hard to pick a favorite, but I'll, I'll just go with solidarity with a fellow Rick, and he's a, he's a good-looking guy, and I like his style, so I'll, I'll go Rick Reckless for this one, Jim. Well, you completely shocked me with that choice, Rick. <laughs> <laughs> do, you know, do you know what? I think I think Squirrel might, might have what it takes to win this. I think he's... He's underrated, he's got a lot of good attributes for this kind of thing, this kind of match, multi-man match, and I think I'm going to pick Squirrel to pull out the W in this one. I do like Squirrel Dude's style, and he's got some pluck in him, but does he have that clutch mentality? I don't know, I just sometimes feel like in the big matches, he doesn't get the job done. Maybe. Well, wait, we'll, we'll find out soon enough, and this is going to be Hell in a Cell. And it is going to be, this Sunday will be Hell in a Cell, the pay-per-view, where every match will be a six-man Hell in a Cell, much like this one. It's going to be a wild one. Oh boy, here he is. <laughs> Blood Bowl Jesus himself. <laughs> Look at the fans. This man is truly beloved by the JFW audience. Goodness me. That is a sight to see. So is this a... Does the first man to pick up a pinfall here win the whole thing, Jim? It is, yeah. That is Armageddon Hell in a Cell, yeah. Six man, first pin wins. Um, yeah. So all the other four will be trying to break up that pin. You'd think that, but I guess with it being even numbers, they could be completely tied up with another competitor, right, at the moment of the pin or submission. 
They could be, yeah. So that is that is the risk, yeah. Triple threat, <laughs> a, a different kettle of fish, and that there's only one man to break up the pin or submission, but so much more likely that he isn't going to be battling someone else at that moment. Obviously, he literally can't be. Yeah. And obviously, the, the, with these, there could be people lying prone outside the ring. There could be, you know, but it's hard for not have somebody there, you know, to maybe interfere. So it's it's pretty mm -hmm. wild. There is Squirrel Dude, our two favorites coming out first. So what exactly are the two belts that these two have, Jim? Walk me through these belts. Are they, they're both world champions of a sort. Yes, uh, so essentially the, the, the extra arms belt champion used to be the super heavyweight belt, but now it's kind of akin to the uh, WWE universal belt kind of idea. Um, like that is the big one, you know, that is, that is the biggest one, the extra arms belt. The world champion, though, is like you know, it used to be the heavyweight championship, and it is kind of like you know, well, it is still the world heavyweight championship. It's you know, it's it is very uh, very prestigious, and of course, it's mostly been held by Tony Plays Poorly. Um, <laughs> yeah, he's got the, he's got he's got the Cody Rhodes neck tattoo. <laughs> um, obviously, the two heads championships is the tag ones. Plim Plum Pluserweight is still the cru the Cruiserweight Championship, which is uh, you know always you know fantastic division. And then uh, the Wem Dope Championship, uh, held by held by Frosty at the moment, is you know that's put up for grabs every single week. There's an open wow. challenge whoever has that. So yeah, that's hotly contested. Uh, the Wem Dope. Fantastic. What champions they are. So Squirrel Dude with his B-rated championship, from what I heard from Jim there, out to the ring. Yeah, Frost Lord Army it? saying, not, not, not my favourites. Frost Lord Army, I've got a feeling, fancies the bread mask for this one, Jim. Yeah. Um, yeah, like, essentially, more it's now what, what's kind of happened is we've more got, like, extra arms belt on claw and world heavyweight on sand fern, basically. That's... That's kind of how oh. it's gone. Um, but you know, nothing's official and people could people could go from either two to either one. <laughs> Jimmy's the real champ, says Frost Lord Army. Oh yeah. <laughs> Haven't seen Jimmy Fantastic the wrestler in a while. Um, he did get mullered by uh <laughs> by table leg wanger. And then uh he did have a fight with Skuro the other day, though. And of course, beat him easily, so that was nice. <laughs> well, if if Elmin can beat Skuro, it can't be that much to shout home about. Well, Elmin beat Gorilla Mezzo. Yeah, oh, he, he is not. Oh, he did beat fought. Gorilla Mezzo. That's that's true. Yeah, that was that was just the commentator Scur Gorilla Mezzo, totally different from the professional wrestler and the king of the backstage, Skuro Mezzo. <laughs> <laughs> There you go, one half of the tag champs. And now here's the other half, the literal fucking goblin. From the darkest fears, Loving the shears. <laughs> yeah. The old gelding shears. He wants to eat, the only thing he wants to do in the GFW is eat balls. <laughs> Oh my, what? No balls safe anywhere, are there? It <laughs> really isn't. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, not a great profession if, if you want to have kids the JFW. Uh. <laughs> no, where well, there's a goblin round ready to give you the snip. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Bessel. <laughs> I really hate that you can't have it though. It's such an annoying thing from Double Double E, isn't it? That they don't let the games have intergender matches. Stupid. Hmm. Yeah, it's not like they haven't booked any. Yeah. Trying to use to run rampant. Yeah. And we we talked about the favourites, Jim, but Frost Lord Army can do a job, can't he? He really is a machine. He is a monster. He loves his juice boxes. Four. 
not steroids. We have a stringent, uh, <laughs> we have a stringent wellness policy in the JFW, um, where the wrestlers are asked if they take steroids. Frosty always says no, so he's definitely not on steroids. <laughs> Genetically gifted, I think, is is the phrase here, Jim. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Not really, Foxy Man, it looks a bit shit. <laughs> Special on Mongo! <laughs> exactly, Photo Biscuit, yeah, they're, they're all 100% clean. Um, every time we've asked them, they've said no. Apart from, apart from Chimp, who says, <laughs> And uh, the Red like Mask, who a says, <laughs> Wow, fantastic energy here from Le Bread Mask. He is ready to go. He is not daunted by the caliber of opponent that he is about to face. None of these men quite used to the level of uh, of opposition that they're going to be up against here, Jim. Yeah, this is a crazy match, isn't it? No idea who's going to have what it takes to win this one, to be, to be honest. But uh, great practice from them for Sunday. Getting to grips with a cell. That's true, yeah. Bit of an advantage over the other men we've seen tonight here. Shaking off any uh, cell rust that they might have. <laughs> yeah. Wow. It is a cacophony of action here. It's hard to know where to look. <laughs> it really is. Um... Like when Goliath Games rolls into the ring. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Bezel, yeah. This could be a really quick match or a really long match, right? Because, as you say, you know, they could just be busy with, with other people and not able to interfere with a pin, or, you know, they could all be free for ages and it takes a long time to wear everyone down to the point where there won't be interference. Oh, but Cocky immediately thrown into the cell there by <laughs> Rick Reckless. You know, if we see much cell usage, and again, <laughs> he is getting battered. That, that is one way to wear down the uh, the competitors here pretty quickly. Yeah, but then Rick kicked in the back of his head by Moradan. Absolutely savage. Cock and ball torture teaming up a little bit here. Yeah, Rick a seeming able to uh, handle one of them, but two is uh, is one too many, and yeah, he's struggling now. <laughs> head smashed off the ring apron. Maybe the competitors are uh, recognizing Rick as a, a major threat to win this match and isolating him for the most damage early on. Does make sense? Oh boy, Frosty's just getting smashed off these uh, off these chair off these chairs off these stairs by uh, Squirrel Dude here. Pretty brutal. Taking your uh, your commentating advice from uh, Jim Ross there. Yeah. <laughs> Um, beautifully done, but yeah, uh, Squirrel Dude was your favourite, and he's absolutely hammering Frost Lord, like you say. The size difference the other way, but Squirrel Dude does not care. He is flying. Yep. Cocky and Moradam yet to come to blows between each other. This is this is every man for himself, so I'm sure there'll be no hard feelings between them. Uh, you know, yeah, there's a fairly strong precedence, uh, fairly strong precedence set right that tag teams tend to work together uh, early on in these kind of matches. But then when the crunch moment comes, of course, they they do appreciate the every man for himself uh, elements and will then turn on each other when they've got the upper hand established. Yeah. Always before the end, though, stupidly. <laughs> 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 Oh, going for a little bit of a submission here from Cocky, but he gets uh, dragged off by the bread mask. Rick, who's had an absolute beating, recovered enough to get back in the ring. Uh, Moradam just literally flying across the ring there for uh, no apparent reason. <laughs> Frosty was just having a bit of a moonwalk session there on the outside. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the bread mask's oh. face getting grated on the cage, but he's wearing the mask, Jim. He might be fine, to be honest. Oh, bro. Oh! Frosty's been thrown out of the out of the cage. Is, Smash. is this allowed, Jim? Squirrel dude's gone out as well. We've only got four competitors inside. 
Well, you've, you've got a pencil. Oh, what a move by Rick. And a pile drive at the Moridam. Well, there you go. Cocky and Moridam officially not working together. <laughs> and if Rick gets off a finish here, they'd better turn around and break it up. If they're too busy with each other, this could be all she wrote. Oh, another low blow, Jim. What is this? Moridam going after the balls, as predicted. Rick, just pin him. Pin him, Rick. What are you doing? <laughs> Oh my god, that was nearly the match there. Rick was not interested in breaking up that pin. That was so close to being game over. And and if Rick had made the pin himself earlier on... Oh my goodness, LeBred Mask with a massive <laughs> catch of Rick off the top rope. Oh, wow. And Rick's taking a beating. If LeBred Mask had wanted to go for the pin, he might have got the win there himself. Oh, oh my word, so he's lost so Rick open. Yeah. I, this could be it, Jim. This could be absolutely it. Cocky's not breaking it up. Oh. Whoa. Squirrel on the outside. Oh. Frosty following him. <laughs> oh, it was just a taunt from the bread mask. I thought he was doing some kind of crazy <laughs> move. <laughs> he was just doing a taunt. Well, Rick, Rick did seem to take a bump there. <laughs> yeah. That's a good point. Rick was the first man busted open. Does that mean he's going to win? <laughs> <laughs> Theme of the night. <laughs> Crimson oh. equals gold. Frosty, the biggest guy, beating up the smallest right now. Wow, second smallest. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, devastating. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh, hell. this could kill a man. Oh, Cookie comes in to break it up, though. Cock and Ball Torture really getting uh, at each other now. I think they've... Uh, they've got a taste for finding each other. They've annoyed each other a bit here. The alliance officially over. Yep. Oh, God, look at this. Pedigree. Pedigree to the bread mask. But Moradam's right there. Yep. Wow. I'm quite impressed Moradam turned to break it up, to be honest. We've, <laughs> we've not seen that kind of initiative from oh, the other wrestlers. Oh, my shit. goodness. <laughs> that was brutal, wasn't it? <laughs> there was some force in that. Rick saving uh, the bread mask this time and putting it to Squirrel Dude, but Moradam's there to, to capitalize. Oh boy, Rick going the top rope. Who's going to get their move off first here, Jim? Oh, oh the there's the ball shot. The low blow. Oh, <laughs> Rick misses. Surely Rick breaks this up. Oh. What are you doing, Rick? Oh, my <laughs> <laughs> Unbelievable. Rick just stabbed. Wow. <laughs> Captain Brainworms. Oh, it could be. This could be all she wrote. If Squirrel Dude wants to go for a finish, nope. He didn't quite get him fully down, did he? No. Nope. Going to the top to try and finish it, but LeBred oh. is back now. Oh, Squirrel Dude takes a massive bump to the outside. The cock and ball torture, maybe they were faking it earlier because oh. it looks like they're together for the win now. Yeah. Wow. Power <laughs> driver going for the win. Frosty Lord steams what? in to break what it up. timing from Frost Lord Army. Absolutely <laughs> pitch perfect. Incredible. Finds himself back in trouble now. He's going for a big slam. Oh no, setting him up for a superplex. <laughs> <coughs> oh boy, howdy. Oh, oh god, oh god, the bread mask. And now Squirrel. Oh, what a move from Squirrel. And what a move from Cocky. Squirrel for the pin. For the pin. Mask has to break up, but he does. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Yeah, Rick's been down for about fucking five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> he's biding his time. He's, he's probably the smartest out of the six. <laughs> he nails Cocky there, sends him the outside. No, oh, what? Oh, I thought Rick was going to launch himself to the outside. Thought better of it. Looked at the distance and went, nah, you know what? Nah. <laughs> Last ride from Squirrel Dude here. Oh, that's blasted him. Rick's the only one who can interfere. Is Rick going to stop this? He's going to try, Jim. He's going to try. Oh, oh Moradam kicks out. Incredible stuff. Oh, God. What a, what a shot from Cocky. Just... Knockout blow. Cocky and Moradam have some lead in those fists. No wonder they're the tag team champions. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, Frosty's been down for a long time. Oh, look at this. This is the finisher from Cocky. Oh, <laughs> my goodness me. Oh, the this could be it. The snap of these hits. Mardam. Oh, Frosty, that was going to try and break it up, but he doesn't make it. Wow. 
Unbelievable. The extra arms belt champion is pinned. And one half of the tag team, well, one half of the two heads champions has done it. Well, I feel like they had an excellent game plan going into this, Jim. They isolated Rick Reckless early. They beat him to within an inch of his life. And then later on, they, they finished him off and got the pin. Just amazing performance from the tag team champions. It really was, yeah. Absolutely incredible stuff. Incredible stuff from Cocky. <laughs> and Moradan. Moradan with the assist for sure. Yeah, they say there's no alliances here. I think we've just had that proven differently. Yeah. Incredible. We saw a couple of great tag team performances tonight. They'll be hot on their tails. Absolutely. Well, that is it. That is all we've got time for tonight. What an amazing show. Thank you so much, Rick. You were absolutely incredible. As exactly as good as I thought you'd be. <laughs> Thank you so much for having me, Jim. Time of my life. What a show it is. And boy, am I hyped for Hell in a Cell this Sunday. If this is anything to go by, it's going to be the show of a lifetime. Oh, yeah. Thanks for watching everyone, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic!